and uh, I'm a member of Leadership Laredo and also program coordinator for the Youth Leadership Laredo. Um, I would like to thank you for being here this morning and it's wonderful to see so many new faces and especially to see the interest that you have in our, in our youth program. Uh, we have a presentation for your parents and for you, but first we would like for you to um, begin breakfast and then listen to the guest speaker. Then my presentation will come along. So, and then I would like to ask the parents to stay behind while your children actually go to the seminars that are being planned for them today. You are going to love the program. We've been uh, putting this program together since 2005 when we first enrolled our first cohort. And I have a lot to tell you about what we've been going through. And uh, you're gonna find a, it's a wonderful experience. You are going to make a lot of friends from different, uh, different uh, schools. You're gonna interact with them and uh, you're gonna learn quite a bit about life, about how to solve problems, how to actually be more disciplined and how to apply all these seminars into your daily routine, your life, anything to make it, to make your life a little bit easier. Uh, right now, we're gonna go ahead and give Ms. Tony Gamboa uh, a chance to do a lesson. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone this morning? Good morning. Let me see your cell phones. Let me see your cell phones. <laughs> Everybody's got a cell? Yes. Please put it on vibrator silent. Uh, because we're getting ready to start. Uh, we start with a blessing and then with breakfast and uh, it's important of, of uh, the opportunity of breaking bread. Breaking bread means that you just get to meet each other there at the table and so forth. And since we're going to continue uh, right after the breakfast with our guest speaker, uh, we'd just like to extend our respect and our reverence so that we can have our cell off or our vibrator second. Yes? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life that you've given us today and the opportunity to bless your holy name. Father, this morning, on this very Saturday, October the 16th, we thank you for the blessing for the students that are here starting this school year for Youth Leadership Laredo. We thank you, Father, for their lives, their gifts, their talents, uh, the dreams and the goals that they have for their future. Father, we bless their parents, the parents that are here, and those that were not able to make it this morning, but they've sent the students. Father, that we are all one big family. Uh, we bless the, the Youth Leadership Laredo Board, the coordinators, the speakers that are to come, and the rest of the school year, Heavenly Father, that every seminar, as the students attend, that they be blessed, enriched, and empowered. We thank you, Father, for the food that is going to be served this morning. We bless the hands that have prepared it and make it a nourishment to our body. We ask you, Father, for a special blessing for our speaker this morning. Bless Evelyn and her family, that they've been leaders in our community and that they've been with steadfastness and determination to be a blessing also to our community. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, amen, amen and amen. Thank you. Give yourself some applause for this morning. It's great to be alive.
Miss uh, Seams came was born here in Laredo to Hank and Shelley Seams. Went away to college, graduated from St. Mary's Hall in San Antonio with business administration, uh, also from Texas Christian University. Uh, I think it was the same with a lot of people here in Laredo. Uh, her bio here says that she was never going to work at the family company. I'm never coming back to Laredo. I'm not going to do it. Well, lo and behold, she came back to the family business and has fallen in love with it, fallen back in love with Laredo, and she's here to stay with us. Uh, she has also recently graduated from the esteemed dealer academy in Washington, D.C. Uh, maybe she'll tell us some about that. But that's a pretty intense program, a national program. So, you know, a lot of people from Laredo do things like that. You know, they start young like you guys, stay in school, graduate college, and really go to Washington, D.C. People travel. I know some kids that just went to Spain and stuff like that. So there's a lot of opportunities, and she's, she's doing all of them here. Uh, she volunteers with the Bethany House, and she's also helped start the Give Laredo on behalf of Saints Motor Company, uh, which is a very large annual event here in its fifth year. So I'm sure we'll hear some about that. And along with the family, uh, she does a lot with the Washington's birthday celebration, Halloween festival, et cetera. So thank you very much. Please welcome her. Thank you, John and Juanita. And good morning to you all, and thank you for being here so early on a Saturday and for your commitment to Leadership Laredo. I'll try to make my speech interesting so you don't fall asleep. Each of you should have a bag in front of you. And I wish I could tell you that inside lies a magic wand to wave to, to grant you instant success. But that would teach you out of life's greatest adventure, the journey to success. So instead, I put together a survival kit of reminders to help you find your way. You're probably eager to see what's in the bag, so open it up and follow with me as I explain to you why each item is in there. Some of you might have already opened the bag, and you're wondering what in the world I'm thinking. Most of what's in here is to have little or no value, but each of them, each, each of the items in this bag are multifaceted in meaning, and collectively they make up an essential survival kit for your future. It is my hope that as I talk about the symbolism and importance of each item in the bag, that you understand the value of tools and resources as you go through your educational years, your career, and your life. Let's start with a pencil. The pencil is to write your story. We are all artists, and only you are the author of your own life. You are the main character, and you choose your supporting characters, and you write your own plot. You dictate your beginning and your ending, so be creative. Take your audience on a journey, document your dreams, and turn them into reality. Take the pencil, set goals, and cross them out as you achieve them. Also, rem remember that the pencil has an eraser. Everyone makes mistakes, and mistakes are okay. Although some mistakes can't be erased, you can rewrite a new chapter by learning and moving forward. Your story is not right or wrong or good or bad. It's just a story, and it's your life. And the best part is that you can evaluate your story and give yourself grand reviews. You'll also find a piece of rope in the bag. If you carefully look at the rope, you will see that there are many strands of fibers that are put together to make one strong piece of rope. A piece of rope can lift hundreds of pounds, and as the rope is stressed, the individual strands work together to lift the load. No one strand can accomplish the job. The, strand, the more strands in your rope, the greater the strength. And each of these filaments are the qualities that make you. They are unique, yet when they are intertwined, they make one strong individual. Use all of your qualities to the best of your ability, and when you put them together, they make you who you are and empower you to accomplish your goals. Next is the power ball. The ball is small, but it's mighty. It symbolizes the power of rebounding. 
and when you throw it down to the ground, feel defeated. Think of how this ball bounces so high after hitting the ground. That is what you must do. Rebound with force when you fall and jump high, because there are no limits. The little mirror in the bag. It's there to remind you to be true to yourself. Look into it every now and then and remember who you are and what you want. Commit to that. Make sure that the choices you make are best for you, because you can never be you can never be what you are not. You can only be you, and that's it. And look around. You're you right now, and it's effortless. It's that easy. Also in your survival <laughs> kit are lifesaver candies. Think about the lifesavers in your life, your friends, your family, mentors, and teachers. The lifesavers are there to remind you that everyone needs help once in a while. You have to reach out for them, and most important, most importantly, rely on it and put all of your trust in the right resources. Your circle of lifesavers will always be there, and they're there to keep you afloat, and they'll be there when you need them. Ah, and the keychain for your dream car. <laughs> I tried my hardest to come and speak to you all today and leave my car world behind, but really, I have to be honest, that's impossible. So I had to throw one in there. But really, on that keychain is where you attach your key to success. You decide what that is. For me, it has been passion. I have a passion for my job and my career. It's what fires me up. It gets me angry, it makes me happy, and it is something I love and want to share with those around me. It holds my ambitions and visions for my future. Think hard about what the key is to your success and let it drive you. Your key will take you places you never imagined you'd go. As John mentioned, I never thought I'd move back to Laredo and succeed my father in the car business. And here I am today. And of course, the bag. That's just there to help you keep it all together. As life takes its course, you will add things to your survival kit, and you'll even take some things out. You'll recognize that you can't go after anything alone, and that you need tools and a roadmap to get anywhere in life. I challenge each of you today to ponder what you would put in your survival kit and always carry it with you. What are your favorite tools? What's in your bag that you can't live without? What's in your kit that you would share with those around you? The world is changing faster than our thoughts can fathom. You are the edge walkers, the leaders of our future. It is hard to change the world, but if we synergize our efforts and work in concert with purpose and a shared passion for the common good, then each one of your stories put together will make a difference. Remember that practice will make the master, but it is action that makes the difference. Grab your survival kit, take every day to practice and sharpen your skills, and take action to write your story and make it the best it can be. In closing, I want to thank Juanita and John and Leadership Laredo for the opportunity to speak to you today. I wish each of you the best of luck in taking advantage of what your future holds, and I encourage you to make the, make the most of the program that is set forth for you today. Thank you again, and I look forward to seeing you at SAMES when success leads you to buying yourself your first new car. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Got a little plaque for her for her appreciation. A little plaque for Muse Leadership Parade. Get a cameo too. Okay. Thank you again.
and, and to move forward. Thank you so much for your wonderful speech. Now, I hope everybody has had a chance to have your breakfast because what the kids are going to do right now.